Hello everybody, this is the Brian Rocks. Welcome back to Let's Play Super Paper Mario. In the last episode, we finished up Chapter 1. And now that we have the second pure heart, finally after beating uh, Racktail, or Fractail, uh, no spoilers, uh, yeah. Anyway, so we gotta go to Marin's house, find out where the next, or what to do next. Oh, so how was it, dear friends? Did you find the pure heart? Yes, we did. See? Here it is. Oh, such pure brilliance. This is a true piece of the one true purity art. Yes, we met Merlin. I forgot how I said it. I'm just going to skip it. She gave it to us. What, Lady Mer... Blah, blah, blah? You were well met. She is an ancestor of mine. She was the one who wrote the like prognosticus to counteract the dark one. Merlin... <laughs> And those who followed her built this town, they are why we are here. M -m 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 Master Merlin, b -b bad news! What? Shaking polygons. Y you see? Um, 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 he said one. Darn it! Mario could have been a pimp. Oh, Shit. Oh well. Let's keep going. Alright. Where do we go? Okay, so, um, as you guys remember, we got a fire burst. Uh, which we did not use. What you want to do is, instead of going to where Merlin's at, and if you don't have the fire burst, you can go to the store right there on the left and buy one. If you don't have enough coins, go grind. I'm not going to do that, because I already have one. So what you want to do is you want to come down here to the first floor and look for the shop, which is, or not the shop, the cook's house. I forgot her name is. Anyway, hello there, sugar. Welcome to Sweet Smiles. Our dish will turn that little frown right upside down. Just bring me an ingredient, sugar, and I'll whip up a dish guaranteed to satisfy. I don't know why I gave her that voice, but let's give her our fire burst. Yes, we want to give you our fire burst. All right. All right, and I believe she'll give us a spicy soup, which she will now add to our recipe list, which is just like the card list. Um, what will happen with the card list is that, or not the card list, but the recipe list, obviously, you give her certain ingredients and you get, um, okay, this gives us HP, but it's not for us, and it cures poison. So she says, oh, this is the first time I've made this dish for you. I'll add this to my recipe list. Remember, sugar, if you find the ingredients, you bring them on by me. I'm going to stop with that voice. Anyway, the reason we need a spicy soup is because obviously, or not obviously, I guess, you'd have to go find out. Anyway, um, if you go to Merlin, the girl that passed out is, uh, is in need of something to wake her up. And he asks you, go use or buy a, a fire burst and go give it to that lady that just cooked it up for us and she'll cook it up. Anyways, how you guys been? I know you can't answer me now because obviously you're not in the same room commentating with me. If you were, this would be a co-commentated game. Alright, so now let's go up to, I believe, the second... Nope, this is the second floor. We can go up to the third floor. Yeah, they did it... Well, I wouldn't say opposite. It depends on how you're seeing it, like from middle to down or middle to up. Anyway, if we go all the way over here, <gasps> it's Peach! Holy crap! Hmm, she does not look at all familiar to me. Who could this be? Um, the chick that we have to save millions of times over and over again? What's the matter? I've seen her before. She's my whole. Princess Peach? So this is the princess that Count Black kidnapped? Yes. Well, the poor girl seems to have had a rough time of what of that, we can be sure. She doesn't appear to be conscious, and she is shivering uncontrollably. What could the problem be? Maybe it was Count Black's cold heart. Oh, I know, Mario. You must go to this chef named Saffron on the first floor of Flipside. Oh? I am sure she knows a warming and revitalizing recipe for this poor girl. Anyway, so yes, if you came up here and you talked to Merlin first, um, he would tell you to do this. But we already have it, so let's use it. And let's see what happens. She's nomming on it. <laughs> oh, it seems to have worked. <laughs> she yawns. 
Hmm, I feel like I just ate the most delicious thing. You just did. I haven't had a dream about such tasty food in ages. You've dreamt about food? Were there flying chickens? Oh, oh Mario, you're okay. Duh, we're Mario. I'm gonna sneeze. I'm gonna sneeze. Ah, hate sneezing like that. Ugh. Um, okay, and who are you? I'm Merlin. My mustache is the biggest mustache in the world. And that's Tippy. She doesn't have a mustache. It's not as awesome as mine anyway. She probably does have a mustache. She's a he she. I'm just, I'm just joking. Alright, so yes. Obviously, in that short amount of time, um, Peach just explained everything that just happened to her. So, yay, hooray for Nintendo logic. But then again, we don't know how much time there was between then and now. Oh, Mario, what do you suppose happened to Luigi and Bowser? I don't know. Perhaps we'll find out in later chapters. Hmm, I suppose you're right. There's just no way to know. I just hope they're, they're safe. Let's hope, Peach. Merlin, what should we do next? And one pure heart shall lead the ne way to the next, so it is written. There are still more pure heart pillars to be found in Flipside, young ones. When you find the next heart pillar, you must set a pure heart in it. And when you do so, a door to the ne world containing the next pure heart will appear. And my intuition tells me the next door may lead you to the mysterious Merli. Like Pisturbius and I, Merli is one of the ancients. We are like long-lost cousins. Yes, I have heard that Merli long guarded an ancient and secret treasure. My, if my instincts are correct, it may be the next pure heart we seek. I must tell you, the light prognosticus also speaks of her magical powers. So, we just need to find this Merli person, is that right? Oh, are you going as well? What? It may be dangerous. It's dangerous to go alone. Take this! Give sword. Da 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 da! No, I'm just kidding. So I'm going, and that's final. I've made my decision. Peaches, join your party! Yeah. Alright, so yes, we have gained Peach as our party member. Hooray! For once, she's actually helping with the journey. She's not actually trapped or anything. Wow! Alright, so he's giving her this old key. What is this old key for? We'll find out as soon as we get out of this house. Not in the next episode. In this house. After we get out of this house. Anyway, yes, he's telling us to be looking out for clues and that there should be a door that's made perfectly for the hero. Alright, so yes, we are now Peach. What she can do is, when we jump and we hold, uh, if we jump and we hold two, because we're holding the Wii remote sideways, um, we'll do that. But right now, we don't, we don't want to be Peach. We want to be Mario. Because what we want to do is want to flip into 3D and open this gate that we can only see in 3D. So yes. And oddly enough, Mario just looks like he's walking in place. But when we flip in 3D, holy crap, we're on the other side. And it says... Flip side out, skirts ahead. Monsters ab advisory. Well, you know what? We don't care because we walk into the midst of danger. Yeah! Oh, we got hurt. Darn it. Anyway, let's go down here because this is where the next pure heart is, I believe. Not exactly sure, but you know what? We're going to try it. All right. So, um, little secret here. Yeah, here's a little squig. and kill it. Kill this squig, too. It says, hey, hero, feeling some trip flipping, it's, it's basic. Now, yeah, that's pretty much telling us where we have to go, but we're not going to go there right now. Commit suicide! Okay, I jumped in the wrong hole. Anyway, um, if you jump down here into this first hole, not the second one, you'll find this. What is this? Um, we found a card. We found a more lovely card. Okay. And a Merlin. Yes, Merlin card. And I should have checked for anything in 3D. Just kidding, there is not anything in 3D there. So what we'll do is we'll flip into 3D like this thing is asking us because we can't get in that pipe over there. Because for some reason, we can't get rid of those bricks. Okay, so if we flip back into... Actually, no, we need to stay in 3D for a little bit. Oh no! Where's Mario? There he is. <laughs> Alright, so we fl uh, not flip, we turn into, well, technically we are flipping, but anyway, what you want to do is, uh, you turn into Peach, and you want, uh, obviously, since Peach is a parasol, just flip and, ah, I keep saying flip, 
we just glide with her with her umbrella and she puts in the next pure heart for us because we haven't done an animation like this with peach it's not all that different but we still get a cool animation that's colored differently it's orange oh my god and 3d animation with another Secret door, secret door, secret door. We gotta go in the secret door, secret door. Come on, guys. We gotta go in the secret door, secret door, secret door. Yes. Eh, God, I just love that animation. All right, so now that we've... Oh, I forgot about the squig and the squiglet that are down here. Kill them. We're following the giant coconut. Oh, no. It's gaining. No. Oh. It went away. Oh, well. All right, now if we flip back as Mario into 3D. We can go back over here. Alright, so I guess this episode's mainly just going to be us putting the heart in and join Peach joining our party. You know, just um, stuff that's going to happen before we enter Chapter 2. Which, hopefully, we'll get some of it in. If not, because I don't think it's going to take me... It's going to take me longer than 10 minutes to do, so... Okay, we got to flip in a 2D... or 3D. And go back this way. Oh no. Oh no. Ow. Oh well. Well, I guess since we're not going to be going to the next chapter, I guess I might as well go see if, uh, if there's something that's open for us. Actually, there's a couple things we could do. Yeah, there are a couple things we can do. And, uh, as for these elevator animations, you don't have to see it opening and drawing in the first time. Or, after you watch it the first... Yeah, see, we can't do that exactly just yet. We can't go and see those houses in the back there. And since that's, um, impossible, eh, impossible, uh, since it's impossible for us to do right now at the moment, I guess what we'll do is, uh, jeez, I'm trying to think. Um, yeah, well, let's go check out the shop, I guess. I'm just show some of the stuff on the flip side here. Okay, so, obviously, you can see there's a sleepy sheep, shroom shake, uh, ice thingy, a fire burst, and... This little metal here, if you use it, you actually get a thousand points on your score on top, and you can actually level up faster. So yes, he's explaining that when we buy stuff, um, we get one point for everything that we buy here. And so, um, yes, I've got it. I want to buy something. Now, he's got all this cool stuff here, but we'll, like, see, he's got a gold bar. Not really worth it. You just, that's not even worth getting, because you're selling it for, you're buying it for hundred, and then you sell it for hundred. And then for a star medal, that, like I said, you get a thousand points, and then we'd have 42,870. I don't want any of these main items, because I don't use these items, unless I'm, like, in danger. I don't have any healing things, but we want to buy... Uh, we're going to buy a long last shake, because these are pretty good. And what you do for these, uh, I'll just get in when I use it, probably in the next episode. But that's pretty much it for the store. Alright, so now that we're done with that, we're going to go over here to the right side of the second floor. Obviously, there's Merlin's house, the save block, the elevator, this weird lady who looks raving because she has that weird hood on. She's like a triangle. I'm going to jump on your head! Yes, okay. Anyway, this is the inn. Um, no point in me using it right now because I only have 4 HP missing, but you pay 5 coins and you get to stay with her and, she's, and she wakes up with you like watching her, or her watching you. It's... It's really creepy. Anyway, um, this lady obvious or uh, resembles very widely uh, Merly, the lady we're gonna see in the next episode. Anyway, with her, you can ask her uh, what to do next, what I'm, uh, what to look for, treasure, blah blah blah. And that's pretty much what you can ask her. And then that's it for the second and first floor. So let's go ahead and check out the third. The third is where we found Peach, obviously. Now, I believe if we go over here to the right side, or not right side, the, is it? Uh, do I have to get on the other, yeah. Yeah, we gotta come over here, wait, no. No, no. There's a way to get up, up there somehow. Dang it, no, I'm, uh, duh. Wait, can I get past this? Holy crap, I can. See, there's a pipe over there. And I don't believe we can access it right now, but if we can, that'd be really cool, because there's something I want to get that's out here. 
Now before I lose some points, I'm going to go ahead and skip the little elevator animation. Uh, sorry, we're not making that much progress. Well, who am I kidding? We put the heart, we put the heart in the, uh, pure heart in the heart pillar. And, uh, yeah, we put the heart in the heart pillar. And, um, Peach joined our party, so what am I talking about? Okay, I believe, wait, there should be, no, I don't know why this is here. I think it's for a later purpose, I think. I'm not exactly sure, but... Alright. Uh, dang it, we can't get there yet. Wait, can we? I know what we... I know we have, we have yet to use a certain... Uh, item. No, we can't grab these. Dang it. Well, that's how we get the treasure. So, I mean, this... I guess this is pretty much it. Oh, yeah. I'm not exactly next to the elevator. Ah, uh, crap. Um. Jesus Christ, I don't know what to do. Ah, uh, you know what? Yeah, I'm gonna end the video here. We didn't... I'm sorry, this was a really crappy episode. Ah, uh, Mario's all sad because I did crappy. I'm sorry, Mario. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Oh, great. See, I made him cry. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, I'm just kidding. Anyway, guys, this is the Brian Rocks. Uh, thanks for watching. Subscribe to my videos. Send me a friend request. I'll answer it as soon as I can. And in the next episode, we'll head off to... Um, yeah, we'll head off to Chapter 2-1. Uh, Alright, guys. Later.